it's time for Stories from the Heart with Carolyn Mark. Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome to another Stories from the Heart with Carol and Mark. Yippee! <laughs> and today we have a beautiful story about a tiny little grain of sand. Oh, really? Who rediscovers her purpose in life from Big Brother Jesus. Are you ready to find out more? Yeah! Ready, set, and go! Sandy, the tiny grain of sand. Sandy is an adorable grain of sand that lives on a large beach located just next to a beautiful blue ocean. She's always concerned about offering a soft landing for everyone that seeks to find peace and contentment by walking on Earth. She is a very happy grain of sand. Her heart is filled with joy because every day she can fulfill her task of sending out joy to others. But after fulfilling her task faithfully for five years, Sandy asked her guardian angel in a prayer. Dear guardian angel, I know you're always by my side. So can I ask you a question from my heart to yours? You see, I'm so very tiny that I get lost in the vastness of the other grains of sand that form my family at our home at the beach. Because of my tiny little size, I've noticed that most people don't even see me at all. So despite my effort to spread joy and serenity all around me, do you think that I actually really have a purpose? Do you think I actually make a difference? I try so hard to spread joy. I trust you, loving guardian angel. So I pray for your answer to soothe my heart. The next morning, as the sun rose beautifully from behind the shoreline, and its rays started to reflect lovingly through the water, mirroring God's presence in everything and everyone, Sandy saw a particular ray of sunlight, which started to take human shape. She soon started recognizing who that beloved visitor was. His tunic flowed like the ocean and was as white as the waves. His hair danced gently with the ocean breeze. He looked down on his feet, mindful of every grain of sand he stepped on. And all of a sudden, he came towards Sandy's very own direction and said, Dearest Sandy, I'm your friend, your forever friend. Oh, goodness, are you big brother Jesus? Most definitely I am. I heard your prayer and I came to answer it. Please know that I've asked my father, God, to create you as tiny and soft as you are, so you would help to remind our fellow beings that every step they take can lead them towards finding and expressing love towards God and one another, especially when they are gentle and firm at the same time. You, my dear Sandy, have both of these qualities. So you have the beautiful mission of imprinting these reminders in the hearts of all of those who walk through here. You are indeed, dear Sandy, a missionary of God's love, as is everyone here on this beautiful earth. Thank you, Big Brother Jesus, for reminding me of my divine purpose. And thank you for showing me that everyone and everything has a valuable, loving mission under God's loving eyes. But I'm so small, Sandy. Even the smallest creature on this planet has a big mission to serve. Remember, you are helping everyone to realize that being mindful of what's around them is what's most important. Oh, thank you, Big Brother Jesus. No, thank you, Sandy. Every day when you watch the sunrise, I shall be there sending love your way and everyone's way. From that day forward, every day at sunrise, little Sandy would invite all of her sand family to sing a very special song in celebration of Big Brother Jesus' loving presence.
Yay! Wow, what a story. You know, this story teaches us something very important. We don't have to be big to do great things. We can be the tiniest little grain of sand, and yet in that tiny grain of sand has a huge purpose. To be gentle and firm at the same time. To be loving. To send these beautiful qualities towards out towards everyone. And we can think about from this story as well, how the smallest little blade of grass, the smallest little leaf, even this little piece of dirt is such a wonder. Our world is filled with so much wonder, isn't it? And the beautiful, loving gift of the sun. We don't even have to be at the ocean to experience it, but let's imagine being at the ocean and watching the sun go across the waves. Even if you've never seen that before, maybe you've seen the sun rising over a lake, or maybe you've seen the sun rising across a farm field, or even across a park, or even across the city. What it, wherever it is, it's beautiful, and it's a message of God. It's a message of love and hope every single time, because that sun is Big Brother Jesus' love for us. He sends that love out to us every day. So let's thank Big Brother Jesus right now for that beautiful message of love that he sends to us, reminding us of our beautiful, loving purpose here on earth. Big Brother Jesus, thank you so much for sending out your love every day through the sun, warming us with your heart, and reminding us that every day we are blessed. We are blessed to be loved by you, and we are blessed to have that divine purpose, the divine purpose of love and hope, the divine purpose of sending out love, of giving out love to whomever we meet. Let us remind ourselves that since we are children of God, we are loved. And let us remind ourselves that as children of God, we should love ourselves because we are love. You live inside of us, in our hearts, big brother Jesus. So thank you so much for being there all the time. We love ourselves, we love others, and we want to spread that love and joy to everyone, every day. And so be it. Yay! What a beautiful message of love and hope. And until we meet again for another Stories from the Heart with Carol and Mark, let's spread out love for everyone. And let's love ourselves. Yippee! <laughs> Remember that we love you too. We'll see you later. Bye!